Hey there, welcome back to the At Home Dive YouTube channel. As always, my name is Joey and today we're in the kitchen making something absolutely fantastic. We all know that the warm weather is now here, so it's time that we break out some of those cool treats. So today, we're making icebox pie because it is so cool and refreshing and perfect for those summertime gatherings or those walking in from work snacks because it's cool, refreshing, and it's done completely ahead of time and perfect to break out and cool you down. So sit back, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. So the list on the counter could not be more simple today. This is one of those old school traditional recipes that was based off of using what you have in your house. And it's gonna start by making the crust. In the crust, I've got seven tablespoons of salted butter, two tablespoons of granulated white sugar, and one and a half cups of ground graham cracker. Over here, I've got about six lemons. I'm gonna use the zest of one, and I'm looking for one cup of juice to come from these. Back here, I've got three egg yolks and one whole egg in this little bowl. I'm gonna use one teaspoon of vanilla extract and 28 ounces of Eagle Brand sweetened condensed milk or two 14 ounce cans. I'm gonna keep handy one little strainer and one tiny cutting board for using my juice. And you're gonna need to get something to use the zest. I'm gonna break out my micro plane. If you'd like to use a box grater or whatever you have to get the zest itself without getting the pith of the lemon, Feel free to do that however you'd like. Let's get started. The first thing I want to do is put my butter on low heat and just get it to melt. Now that it's nice and melted, I'm just going to let this sit here and cool down for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, we can juice our lemons. Before I juice the lemons, I need to remove the zest that I mentioned from the one lemon. I'm going to do this by taking short strokes on the microplane so that you get these really fine pieces of zest. This takes a second, but it's absolutely worth it. As you see here, this has removed a little over a tablespoon of perfectly fine lemon zest, and this has all of the zest removed with the pith still intact. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we can start juicing the lemons. So I like to start by rolling my lemons on the counter and kind of feeling everything break apart on the inside. Then I simply cut them in half, take a really fine strainer just to catch any seeds we have, and squeeze the lemon as hard as I can and just rotate it around until it stops producing juice. We're gonna repeat this process with the rest of these lemons. We're looking for one cup total. As you can see here, I have my very full cup of lemon juice. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside for here in a moment. Now that our butter's cooled off enough, we're gonna set everything else aside and make our crust. I'm gonna start by adding the sugar into the graham cracker and giving this a stir. Now's a great time to also make sure that you have your oven starting to preheat to 350 degrees. I'm gonna slowly pour my butter in and I'm gonna reserve about the last two to three tablespoons of liquid. That's where a lot of the milk settles too. We may or may not need that liquid. Now I'm just gonna mix this and press it together until it feels nice and cakey. Add as much of the liquid to it as you need until everything compacts nicely. Once I think my graham cracker crust is about right, I'm gonna start feeling of it. Once it compacts nicely, I'm gonna know that it's ready to go. That's not quite enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of this liquid and then give it one last mix. Now as I grab this, you'll see that it starts to hold together a little bit. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we can go ahead and grab our pie pan. I'm gonna start by just dumping all of this right in the middle of the pie pan. Then I'm gonna to try to spread it to the outside and slowly pack it into the edges. Now that our graham cracker mixture's packed nicely into the pie pan, this is gonna form our crust. I'm gonna go and put this in our 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna move on to making the filling. There's no need to really get in a hurry when it comes to being ready to make the filling because to make the filling itself takes about as long as it does for the pie crust to cool down enough to use it. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and get my two cans of sweetened condensed milk opened up and rake them over into the bowl that we're gonna be using. 
Now it's time for our eggs. It's important that we beat these until they're nice and fluffy and smooth before we try to mix them in. That way they go smoothly into the sweetened condensed milk. Now I can add my egg directly into my sweetened condensed milk. Now the lemon zest. And I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this together. Now I'm gonna grab my vanilla extract and add in that teaspoon that we mentioned. And I can go ahead and grab our lemon juice. And I'm gonna dump that right in as well. I'm gonna give this one last quick mix and then the filling is completely ready to go. Now we're gonna bring back our pie crust and we're gonna go ahead and pour this right over into it. We're going back into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it sets like a custard. So it's been 25 minutes when we pull this out. You see it wiggles, it jiggles just a little bit, but it's got a nice structure to it. That's how we know it's done. We're gonna let this cool off for about an hour and then put it in the refrigerator for four hours or overnight. It's time to make the topping for the pie. So I've seen these pies topped with everything that you can imagine as far as fruit, whipped toppings, etc. One of my personal favorites is gonna be any fruit cooked down with a little bit of sugar and a little bit of water. So I'm gonna take one pint of blueberries, two tablespoons of sugar, and two ounces of water, and put this on medium low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes with the lid on. That's gonna allow the fruit to start to break down without burning, which is why we added the water. Then I'm gonna take the lid off and cook this until syrupy. So we'll be back in a few minutes when it's time to take the lid off been about 15 minutes we're gonna go ahead and take a look and as we can see here we have a nice rolling little simmer inside the pot and plenty of liquid has formed now as you can see we have way more than the initial two ounces that we started with that's why you don't need a whole lot to get going I'm gonna leave this uncovered now and let it cook for a while but be sure to keep an eye on it because you want to make sure that this does not have a chance to burn one eternity later so if you see here, the bubbles have sped up and they're getting quite small. And as we drag the spoon across, everything here is nice and thick and syrupy. This is also really hot, keep that in mind, because as it cools down, it's gonna thicken up quite a bit more. We'll let it cool for just a second and then we'll put it on the pie. Back on the counter, this has had just a second to cool down, but our pie has been in the refrigerator for a couple of hours now. So we're gonna take a look at this, and now you can see that it's set all the way, which is exactly what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab our berry mixture, and as you can see, it's still pretty hot, and I'm just gonna put it right in the middle and spread it slightly around the outside. You can go all the way to the edge with yours if you'd like, but I'm gonna leave mine just a little thicker and in the center because I like the contrast and the way it looks on the outside. So here's our pie, and as you can see, this is pretty hot still, so I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator and let it hang out for at least a couple more hours until everything's cooled down all the way. So here's our pie. Now that it's fully set completely, you can see that the topping's nice and thick because it's not moving as I rotate this. Let's go ahead and take a cut out of this and see what we think. So here's our beautiful pie. We're gonna go and get a bite of this and see exactly what we think. Before we dig into this pie though, I just wanna point out how nice and soft, but clean and smooth a lot of this looks. And if you notice, it's not all running together. This is gonna be a great pie to pull out of your cooler at your next cookout and share with your friends, let it sit out and just be ready to go. But let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so I have to say, after trying this pie, it is absolutely even better than I expected. It has the creamy, smooth, velvety soft inside custard that is not overly sweet and not overly tart or tangy, but it complements the blueberry the absolute best. Everything in here is very soft and smooth, and this nice, crispy, crunchy graham cracker crust really just gives it all the texture that it needs. And that subtle bit of lemon zest on the inside is the only thing that's not perfectly smooth on the middle. This is absolutely fantastic. All right, well that wraps us up on how to make lemon icebox pie with blueberry on top. Remember that you can top yours with absolutely anything you'd like. I just love lemon and blueberry together. Perfect for those spring and summer vibes. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.